is what we've been looking for. Rose hips. Oh, they're so lovely. Look at them, they're beautiful. They're like little sort of beads, aren't they? Sitting really on glossy. There. And little splashes of colour in grey old November. Now, what was that thing? You said something about vitamin C in rose hips. What yeah. was that? 20 times the vitamin C in a rose hip than there is in an orange. That is amazing. Make your rose hip syrup now. Yeah. And uh, I've got a little idea for these. I think we ought to go and find somewhere to sit down. I'm going to get my paper and ink out and a stick. We've got to go and find some sticks. Let's find some sticks. <laughs> I found the perfect little bench to sit at in the woods and I've got my rose hips and I've got my sticks and a little pot of ink that I bought with me. I had it in the backpack. It's really portable, so really good for doing my little rose hip and ink drawing. So let's have a go. I'm going to look at the rose hips as I draw. Dip the stick in. Off we go. And do you know what? You kind of can't go wrong with this. You really, really can't. Let's get that stick making some lovely shapes of those rose hips. And it's a little bit scratchy, and you can get lovely texture and tone, scratching the stick, a little hairy bit on the end, let's get that as well, a few little dots. Keep dipping in and looking and making marks, just drawing that rose hip. Oh, I love these, such a lovely shape. Oh, should we get a leaf in as well? Let's get one of those little leaves in. So my little ink drawing of the rose hips is nice and dry now and I want to add some colour and I've just got some water-based paints here. You can use whatever you've got to hand, kids' paints, whatever you can find. I've got a bit of red, I found a bit of pink and some green. If you've just got red, that's fine. A bit of water in my jam jar. I'm going to start off, actually do you know what, I'm going to start off with a bit of my pink. I love that colour. A little bit of water on my brush and simply wash it over not too much I'm gonna go in with a little bit of red as well and I like this sort of really lovely fluid sort of lovely pinky ready color you can go over the lines a little bit as well <gasps> yep you can go over, over the, lines? the lines Nick wow and it adds a little bit of character yeah no I like it over the lines in with a little bit of green now and all I'm doing is put a wash over the leaf like that and down the stem Ooh, like that that's all it needs so so easy I just want to show you a couple of other ideas now I've done the same thing but I'm using gift tags to do my little rose hips on how fantastic for little presents at Christmas or birthdays really lovely even a bit of packaging Look at that! I love they the little gray. mini and ones. And they make presents really personal then. Give it a go. Perfect. Let us know how you get on with this creative nature project. And give us a follow on Her Outdoors with a Z and Jenny Muncaster.